Today we'll be talking about the OCO order type. Now, when I select the OCO order type, you see that we have an option for price, we have an option for stop, we have an option for limit, and then the amount we want to either buy or sell. Okay, so what the OCO simply does is that um, it is a combination of both stop, limit, and limit order joined together. Okay, OCO here stands for one cancel the order. All right. So you are placing two order at the same time. And if any of those orders are triggered, okay, the other one is canceled. Now, as I, I always tell you, I always use this advanced order type when I'm selling my asset. Okay. So I'll go to the sell option here. And then once we are here, we select the OCO. And this is the current price of BTC. I'm using BTC. You can do this with any coin of your choice. Okay. So. Let's say I bought BTC at 16800 okay? What I want to do is, I'm hoping that BTC will continue to go until it gets to 20000 all right? So the price at which I want to sell will be that 20000 So I'm putting 20000 here, okay? Now, what if it doesn't get to 20000 and it you want to retrace below this, okay? If it retraces below this, because this is the current price at which I bought, let's say I bought at 16800 if it retraces below this, I want to take profit, all right? So what I can do right now here on the OCO is to put a stop price here, all right? And then put a limit at which I want to sell. So what I can do here, the stop price, I will say, oh, since we bought at 16,800, we want to put a stop price at 16, or let's put a stop price at 17,000, okay? So we'll put a stop price at 17,000, then we can put the limit to be at 16900 okay so 16900 and you put in the amount of btc you want to sell all right so what this simply does is that if the price continues to go up and it gets to 20000 this order will be triggered okay this limit order we set here will be triggered then this other one will be cancelled all right but if the price comes down from where it is and let's say from 17000 it comes down to 16900 Okay, the 16900 price will be triggered. Okay, and then the option to sell at 20000 will be cancelled. All right. So basically, that is how you use the OCO. It is a very simple and straight to the point order type that can help you to secure profit for yourself. All right. So I can sell at this point or I'll sell at this point. All right. The option or the aim here is to always secure profit for yourself. If you want to use the OCO for buying, for instance, all right. Now let's assume that BTC um, is at sixteen eight hundred. Um, we are from the chart on the analysis. We see that BTC will continue to drop. We want to buy at exactly sixteen thousand. So I'll go ahead and put in the limit price at sixteen thousand. So if I put in sixteen thousand, which is our limit order, okay. The next thing is to set a stop limit order. All right. So we can set a stop limit order at let's say. 16700 okay and then a limit order at um maybe 16800 for instance all right 16800 the better way to use this when you want to use it for the buy option is to first look at your chart to know where your resistance level are or where your support level are before you can actually set up this that will give you um, a good idea of the price you are going to set up here okay now, what I've done here is to set a limit order to buy BTC at 16,000 if it drops to this level or to use the stop limit, okay, to buy at 17, all right? The stop limit will be triggered at 17, 16,700 and then the order itself, the limit order itself will be triggered when it gets to 16,800, okay? Then after that, you add the amount of BTC you want to buy. So if I go ahead and add up the amount here, all right? Once you add up the amount and you go ahead and place your order, there will be two orders that will be placed. Okay, those order will be if BTC gets to 16,000, this will be triggered. The limit order here will be triggered. All right, when the limit order is triggered, this one will be cancelled. Or if BTC broke through the current price now and it gets to 16,700, okay, or 16,800, this order will be triggered and then this order will be cancelled. That is how you use the OCO, but majorly what I do, I use it to sell. After buying my coin, if I want to sell, that is where I use it to secure profit for myself. All right. I hope you gain value from this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. 
always leave a comment if you do have any issue using the comment section below